Now that you understand the 3x3x3 move notation, it is time to scramble and learn to solve the 3x3x3 Rubik's Cube. Let's do it! Scrambled. The first thing to do when looking at a scrambled Rubik's Cube is to figure out which side you want to start with. Figuring out what color a side is supposed to be is very simple. Just look at the centers. No matter how you twist and turn the cube, the centers will always remain the same. Therefore, whatever color the center for a particular side is, is the color that the entire side eventually needs to be. Now, once you've learned how to and are totally comfortable with solving the Rubik's Cube, at this point you'll want to look Look around the cube for which side has the most already done and would therefore be the best to start with. Right now, however, for the sake of simplicity, I think it would be best if we just always started with the green side. Find the side with the green center and make it your upside like this. The first thing we're going to want to solve is the green cross. Find any edge piece with green in it, and being careful to ensure that the green center remains in the up face, twist the cube so that the edge piece you located is part of the down face. If the edge piece you located is already part of the down face, you can skip that last step. Now, look at the non-green portion of the edge piece you located and take note of what color it is. Twist the down face so that your edge piece is directly underneath the center of that color. With the green center still on top, reorient the cube so that your edge piece is part of the front face and rotate the front face 180 degrees, or 2F. Once you've done that, you'll have one of two possible situations. Either the edge piece in question will be exactly where it needs to be, oriented correctly, just like this, or the edge piece will be exactly where it needs to be, just flip the wrong way. If it's the former, you've got nothing to worry about, but if it's the latter, if it's what we have right now, it is time to use our first very simple algorithm. Holding the cube so that the flipped edge piece is at the top of the front face, perform the algorithm. F prime, U, L prime, U prime. Your edge piece should flip around very nicely. To complete the green cross, you simply need to repeat this process three more times with the other three green edges, being careful not to mess up what you've already done. It's fairly intuitive, but for the sake of being thorough, if you ever run into a situation like this, where to move an edge piece into the down face would require displacing an already solved portion of the green cross, do it anyway. You'll find that, and if you watch here, you'll see that the situation tends to sort itself out quite nicely. If you followed everything in this step, great! You're ready to learn how to fill in the corners, completing the first layer. And if you didn't, don't worry about it. Rewatch this step, mess with the cube a little, and in due time, you will get it. I promise.